All right, a buddy of mine was asking me about retrenchment pruning. What's retrenchment pruning? Well, you know, it's it's kind of mimicking the way trees will handle themselves. These old mature trees, it's an old oak, big old thing. No, no doubt it's got bacterial leaf scorch. And you can see those little dead sticks and those dead sticks over there. Well, this whole top of this tree was all full of dead sticks. And I don't know if you can see the cuts I made, but I'm cutting it all back down to the live stuff and maybe a little bit more, taking weight off some of those branch tips. And now what we do, we've reduced the overall height of the tree. We've reduced the width of the tree. We're cutting it back to some live limbs here. You know, look at that little thing right there. I mean, make it, maybe it makes it, maybe it doesn't. But that whole tip was dead, hanging out. This branch, tough to see with the maple behind it, but that's the end of that branch. Hang. That's the end of that branch there. Oh, it was hanging way up into this maple tree. So, you know, we're taking quite a bit off. I'll show you when we get on the ground what that looks like, too. There's a lot of material on the ground. And we'll see how the tree does. It may just do just fine. I've seen these trees with bacterial leaf scores. When you do a really nice do job of cleaning out the deadwood, for some reason, they do all right. I don't know if it's uh, the bacteria spreading from the deadwood down down the trunk into the live material or not, but when that deadwood comes out, they do fine. So, seen it over and over again. See what happens on this one. That's retrenchment pruning, Andrew.